Yo, what's going on everybody? It's JP Brady 12 back with another Madden modding tutorial. Sorry, it's been a while. I've had some crazy things going on. But I am back and in today's tutorial we're going to be learning, of course, as you know in the title, creating add-on teams. So creating teams beyond the initial 32 teams that are included in Madden that are replaceable. This is what the college football mod has done with Play Now and also the D105 mod. Now, the way these are done is replacing or using the team DB of one of the 10 college football teams used in face of the franchise. So these are team DBs and as you can see here up on the screen these are going to be the teams used. So when you are replacing the logos and assets and uniforms you're going to be replacing one of the college teams. So just keep that in mind throughout the tutorial. So obviously first thing you're going to need to do is go into Frosty and I'm actually loading up my editor right now. But when you're going to load up, when you load up Frosty, you're going to want to go to, there's two DBs you want to extract. So here I'm going to pull up Frosty. So in Frosty here, you're going to want to click Madden, Legacy Explorer, Common, Database, Teams. Now, as you can see here, there are multiple teams. You see some NFL teams, you see the Pro Bowl. Uh, just a little side note here, if you wanted to, say, replace the Pro Bowl, you would edit the Pro Bowl DB, but that's not what we're here for. We are here for the add-on teams. So what you want to do is choose one of the college teams. So for the sake of this tutorial, I'm just going to use Clemson since they're the first one up. So you're going to right-click and hit Export, and then you're going to export that. And I already have that exported, so you're going to export that. The next thing you're going to export is the game mode. So just export the game mode. Uh, okay, so you're going to export the game mode and the team DB. So once you do that, you need to download the Madden DB editor version 2.1. That is the best one I recommend because it doesn't have any glitches or anything and the Excel exports are working. So you're going to go there. The link will be in the description to download this. So you go file open and you're going to go to your team DB that you exported. Now you'll see the coach here and all that stuff, but the main thing we will, you want to worry about right now is the team. So say I wanted to change the name, you can do that right here. So what you need to do is go to the f two things you need to find. So there's TTYP, which is team type, and TVIS, which is team visible. So first we see team type here. We want to change that from 20 to 0. Okay? Next thing you want to do is go to TViz, change that from 0 to 1. That's going to make it visible. Now, just changing the team DB won't change everything. You have to do it in the game mode so everything aligns up. So you're just going to go File, Save, and then File, Close. And then you're going to open this, and then you're going to go to Game Mode. Then go to your team table. and you'll see the Clemson Tigers so same thing TTYP change that from 20 to 0 and then TVIS from 0 to 1 now that right there those two things those two little edits are gonna make it visible So we're going to go ahead and import those. Okay, so there is one little roster error that when you open it up in the MP, there's like an error code and it keeps going and going. So the way you can fix this so you can edit your players in the AMP is so you click CSV import table when you're on the play table. And you're going to import the team DB underscore blank roster, which I created. Um, that zeroes out all the, um, or that stops all the errors from being created, and the players, all their names are still the random names, they're just kind of off a little bit. But you can change those, so they're going to import this, wait for it to load. If I can get it to load here. Alright, yeah, it loaded. Alright, so you're going to go file, save, file, close, file, exit. Now you're going to open up this file in AMP. So that. And you go to your player editor. And 
and see all your players are up here now you can go to your quarterbacks but now you can edit this edit overalls and all of that so once we have that we can exit and we're gonna import this as our new team DB team DB Clemson now let's launch this and we'll show it to you in game to exhibition play now and then we will see our Clemson Tigers here with their jerseys so yeah guys that is it for the tutorial thank you guys for watching and have a great day peace